Welcome to the Queen of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo. This is Jessica Stockton. This is Tina Ward. You've probably seen this match before on Classic Can Pins, and you're about to see it again. One of these two is going to be crowned the new Queen of the Palace. Will it be Jessica Stockton, the number two seed, or will it be the number one seed with a roll-off score of 646, Tina Ward? Tina, welcome to the show. Welcome. What are your thoughts on bowling against Jessica? Uh, kind of like a take-two version. Yeah, looking to forward to a great match. Uh, any bad blood between you two? Never. I can't get anything out of these guys, these no girls way. anywhere. It's just too much love. Too much love for everyone. All right, yeah. Jessica, your thoughts about against bowling on Tina? Keep it clean. I, <laughs> I'm very excited. I love bowling against her. I love watching her bowl. So either way, it's going to be a fun match. I'm just looking forward to get started. I've, I've said this many times, sometimes on the show and other times in person, that you two are two of my favorite female bowlers on the scene right now, and I'm looking to, forward to a great match. And I know everyone's going to be entertained by this match. Good luck to both of you, and I, I, when I see in the 11th box, it's going to earn this thoroughly, so I'll see everyone then. Welcome, everyone, to the Queen of the Palace. This uh, is the final. Oh, and this match is one for the ages. This is number two seed, Jess Stockton, versus the number one seed, Atina Ward. This is also a rematch from a classic Candlepin's ladder series. The final. First ball, here it goes, people. For the queen of the palace, oh, wide left. He's the one, three, six, seven, eight. So more die could be a factor. This is it, this is it, Dennis, David. This is it, the queen of the palace. Second ball shot for the spare. Oh, oh yes, oh, did what, that. A beautiful what a beautiful shot. shot. Oh my. Goodness. She didn't think it was going to go when she turned around and she just, her face just lit up. I'll tell you right now, Jessica's off of blood. <laughs> oh, oh what a way to her open nick, up. Jessica's nickname is Squish. Yeah, I she, don't understand that. <laughs> she is, I'll have to ask her about it. She's been uh, bowling for 32 years. Her average is a 106. Her high single is a 181. And her high trip is a 414. Right down the middle of the plate. The head pin drops nine, leaves the king pin, the five pin. Oh, funny. wait a minute. Phil. What's funny about her high single, high triple, I mean? I was there that night. We were born in the same league. I was a couple of lanes over. I finished, I threw a 413. I was pretty, feeling pretty good about myself. I walk over, she wasn't done. I watched her finish with a 414. Like, you had to beat me by a pin. pin. <laughs> well, she's got to tap the front wood into the back wood, and that's it. Nice shot. Nice. Two in a row. Just what, tap it in. What a way to open up. I'm Dennis oh, David. Unbelievable. Talk up about now, that. the number one seed, Tina Ward. Coming out of Spencer, Mass. Her qualifying score was a 646. Uh, she's been bowling for 38 years. Her high average is a 113. Her high single is a 178. Her high trip is a 447. And I've said this for years. These are two of my favorite female bowlers right now. They're, they're just it's explosive and fun to watch. A uh, little wide right there, Lisa Caleri. Of course, we all know my number one female bowler. Who is it? Lynn Thompson. I see, you know. I don't know, I was kind of a, a fan of Sonia today. Sonia's a great bowler too, yes. Absolutely. Ooh, just missed. But I've bowled with and against Lynn Thompson for years. Yeah, she is um, a great bowler. Yeah. Miss her, come back soon. Get well, uh, heal quick from your surgery, please. And nailed the finger of God for 10 bucks. Nice smooth delivery there, Tina. Okay, get that head pick. Tina's home alleys are bogey lanes. We're trying that alley soon. Uh, she Are you going down there? On the Sunday Mixed League, Monday Doubles, Tuesday Spread League, Speed League, Spread League. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, it's been a long day, ladies and gentlemen. Tina, oh, 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 got a break. Have you bowled a bogey before? Uh, once or twice. How is it? Not, Not bad. bad. Not bad. Compared Not bad. to here. Uh, about average. Yeah, about the about same. The same. About okay. the same. I've never bowled there, so I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Me and John Plant are going to. Try a lock out there. Oh, 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 o
Tina Ward smiling, thanking the bowling guards. The head peeling off the side curtain, took out the other two. She got the spare. Thank you for tuning in for the Queen of the Palace. This is the final for that title. All the marbles are on the table here, people. Queen nope. of the Palace is sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Ludeberg, Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babbitt and all his excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Oh, oh got oh. way away from her on that one. Down. And also go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see our good friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, and yes, Amber will tell me to say it. Ten pin bowling. Even though it hurts you. Uh, just a little disappointed here with this third box. Opened up with two nice marks. Let one got away from her, but it happens. Okay, she can come out of here with a 9 -0. Oh. She gets a 9. Okay. Nice out out of that. You're always entitled to a bad box, right, Dennis? Yep, set it and forget it. Yeah, that's for sure. Sometimes multiple bad boxes. <laughs> Nobody likes a bad box. No. No. Not me. It's <laughs> like what? Alone. Let's not go there. It's yes. like what? He wasn't, he was talking about something else. Oh. Don't worry about it. Uh, Okay, Jessica. We, 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 need, we don't need him fo focusing on that tangent. <laughs> so what? In the head pin and oh, she found it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. She's got a nice leave out of it. Yep. She's left the two, in the, two oh. four with some wood. Just any combination of, well, hitting the wood or the pin. I Both think these girls throw the ball hard. Yeah. You think they were, uh, you ever seen a female bowler throw harder than these two? Yep. Dennis? Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, okay. Check it out, Jess. It happens. Um, I can't recall. No, I, I think Jess would probably have to throw Lynn, the Lynn throws a pretty, pretty hard ball. Though. Yeah, but her ball is smooth. Yeah, her ball is very smooth. Who's that? Lynn Thomas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but not as fast as uh, Jess is. Okay. Hey, it happens, Jess. Just out of curiosity, who actually won the classic camel pens, Tina or Jess? Just out of curiosity. What do you think? I can't remember. I think it was Tina. You're right. Yeah, right. That's why Jess wants revenge. Uh -huh. uh, big ball here for... Tina's favorite Tina. shot is... Uh, wow. You know, oh. It's like Tina and Jess oh. copying each other's paper because her favorite shot is any cut shot. Jess's favorite shot is any cut shot. And Tina's least favorite shot is the four horsemen. And Justin's least favorite shot is the four horsemen. <laughs> They're both delivery drivers. Like, oh, 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 like, what a shot by Tina Ward. Like, am I in elementary school? Who's cheating? <laughs> right? Who's copying? Back to back spears. Talk about it. Uh, Tina, want, Tina wants the title. Yeah, they both want the title. Got a week four, but that's okay. As opposed to a strong four? Yeah, a week four meaning what? What would be a strong four? <laughs> I have no idea. I know. I'm I agree. I've never, never even heard of that saying. <laughs> Me either. I know. I gotta think this one over a minute. Come on, Tina. Oh. Wow, look at this. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, the stripper pole goes around and around and around, and this stops at the top. That's twice the stripper pole took out a pin. Yeah, oh, I'm very impressed. Generally, there it must stays be a burr up. on the pole. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, a what? I got it. A week four is the ball wasn't as thrown as hot as a you normally do. We'll go, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So I had to think a minute. Okay, good. I'm sorry. <laughs> After four, both, both Tina and Jessica are at 52. Match is even. I want to thank everybody out in YouTube land and on Facebook and on local access for tuning in and watching King of the Palace. And if you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods, Dennis, tell them what they have to do. Uh, pay us. Oh, ooh. <laughs> oh, found it. No, nope. contact your local public Come access on. provider. Tell them you want King of the Palace, you know, neck of the woods, or Queen of the Palace, as we are right now. Uh, you sign a piece of paper. We start streaming it to them. It doesn't cost you anything, and there you go. They decide when, when it airs, though. We don't. We don't decide when it airs. That's up to them. Yeah, holla. <coughs> Ladies, the 
Four, five, seven. Very, very difficult spear for Jessica. Ooh, nice spin on She's it, had though. that quite a few times yeah. over the past couple weeks. I don't know. I probably would have took a chance on Neil the Wood people. I don't know. Cap it. See what happens. All right, shooting a five pin for the 10 box, and ooh. Just missed it. Ooh. Just missed it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, Set it and forget it. <laughs> Black tape coming up to box number six, lane number four, string number one for what, Dennis, David? The Queen of the Palace Championship. Who's going to wear the belt? What's happening on February 24th? Scratch match. Scratch? Scratch match. They wanted it. We're giving it to them. Yeah. Dave Godwin. Now they have to just sign up and do it. Yeah, well, that's what we need. We need the bowlers to do it. We're going to start promoting it now, baby. Found the head pin. And look at this mess. I know. Pin. I hear you, Jeff. Excuse me, Dennis. We want everyone to come down, no matter what your average is, 120, 130. It's scratch match. Come defeat Ga Dave Godwin. Um, February 24th is a scratch match. February 25th is the Rockin' Bowl at Pilgrim Lanes, where we raise money for the youth bowls to go take their trip to Canada to bowl the Canadian kids. Uh, it's a great time every single year. I, I look forward to it every year. I have a oh, smile this, on my face. This. I guess you might steal it. No. Uh, I, I have a smile on my face the entire day. It's um, youth, pros, everyone. Come on down, bring your kids, do some raffles. Help, help, help us raise money for the uh, trip to Canada. Come on down, have a good time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to back nine boxes for just a little yippee ki yay. Puts her at 70. Leave the door open for Tina Ward. Let's see what yeah. happens. The match is even box to box, so yeah. she has two of her marks to work on, Tina does. Well, I think she kind of knows, obviously, that the door's been left open. Veteran oh, Tina pin bowler. Tina's fierce when she's on the lines. Yeah. Three step approach, drops the shoulder. Nice, smooth approach. Well, Tina's not, speed. not bowling. She enjoys basketball, softball, playing Texas Hold'em. Now, Dennis, remember this shot? This is what Jess Stockton opened up with and made. The three and two? Yep. She also would like to say uh, we could use more, some more women to come compete. I agree fully. Oh! The seven pin stays. Oh, I'm my gonna, goodness. I've been a big advocate for women bowling. I've been trying to get them out here. I, I don't know. I, know. I don't know which more, what more I can do. I know. I, I know. Very frustrating. I hear you. Oh, boy, that was a strange one. And if, and if I sound a little bitter, I, I am. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let it up, Dennis. Oh, I'm just, they wanted it. We developed, David okayed it, promoted it, and what happens? We didn't get the response we thought we would. Uh, all I heard was, you know, we don't have a show of our own. We don't have anything for us. We give it to them. They don't show up. We give them a second chance. Two months notice. They still don't show up. Maybe because it was handicapped on scratch. I, I don't know. I, I didn't hear that excuse. I just... No, nobody. Well, there was a football game on today, nonetheless. Yeah, we have it on here. That's an excuse. Okay, drops five. It is what it is. Four Hoshman plus yep. the eight. Like I said, the women that did show up, thank you very much. They, yes. We appreciate you more than you could ever imagine. And I'm not the only one who's kind of ticked off. A couple of women that actually showed up here are pretty ticked off. The fact that not more women showed up either. Yeah, well, we had we had a 16 supposed to show up. And then 12 ended up showing up, so. 11, actually. Cause 11, yeah. But last year we had 26 said they were coming and only 13 showed, so I mean, that's very disappointing. Okay, nice nine. What you do can we lead a horse to water, you just can't make him drink. That's right. Uh, the match is even still, both rules at 70. Four to go. Opening match. Excellent bowling. Who's going to wear that belt? Yep. New Queen of the Palace. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda, Subaru, and Lunenburg, Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babin or his excellent sales staff on a new or pre owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Second Bowling, and see my good friend George do parodies on Candlepin, Duckpin, and hopefully someday he'll do one on Skittling. Oh, nice ball by Jeff Stockton. Found the head pin. Drops nine. Nice park. Leaves the four. <laughs> what you got? The two or the four? Two. two. No wood. Well, to help. Well, well, maybe I'm wrong. It's what <laughs> then it's why did the pin why did the dead wood fall but roll back? You know, you know what's gonna happen. I told George that he could probably do a show on skittling. He'll probably grab some skills and throw them, move them around, say, hey Dave, look, I'm skittling. Speaking of George, there he is down there smiling, taking this all in. The Queen of the Palace Championship match. No, big shot here. Even match, spear will really help, obviously. Let's see what happens. Oh, and couldn't hurt you. Oh, there it is. Nice shot, Jess. Right on. 
Well, the match is even, like I said, so every mark helps, every pin helps. No, absolutely correct. Just want to see why we got a quick second hand to our good buddy, Marty Babineau, and uh, his sales staff, and to George Fifi over there in the corner. Sponsorship, appreciate it. Okay, here goes Jess Stockton, and... Nice ball. Oh, oh, oh no. wow. Oh, broken oh. pin. Oh. Wow, that cap came all the way back. Wow. Oh. My goodness, how often do you see a pin break? Not that often. Hits the head pin and gets a, gets a four count. That ended up in the next lane almost all the way back. <laughs> that was rough. Candle pinball, you never know what's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> Ball start. <laughs> Bach. <laughs> okay. A little levity to break the tension. <laughs> yeah. You're going to shoot the two in the right here, Dick? Yes. Yeah. Throw yeah, it over? Yeah. Yeah, you have a better chance. You get a better chance at the spare. I agree. Although some people might prefer no, to play baby, the other way. that's it's right. Like, it's and all preference. She's going that way. And she, oh! Almost. Great bid on it. Got four out of the six. Okay, she's left the three in the, excuse me, the two and the eight. As we reverse half Worcester. Yeah. Very thin. Looked like the eight pin actually moved a little, too. It's off its spot. Oh. Okay. Marks puts her at 92 three. 92 <laughs> with two to go. Uh, how many pins are down there, David? About 23. 23, thank you for telling the viewers that. The rotating basis, how they set up with the machine. Ooh, oh, half Worcester. I didn't want that. Okay, Tina, you got to work this out. As I call it, the new palace. You know, Tina, big ball. Oh, oh, oh. I thought okay. it was a good bid on yeah. it. Yeah, looked a lot. That's how I would have played it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, she's got the uh, the four, seven, eight for a ten box. One of the six Mongols. Happy little that? Mongol. And oh, no, pull it up. Mongol in the game, pawning game of life. <laughs> Anybody got a peanut? You know what? You know what? Someone made a suggestion to me. No. That Travis, you know, when it, whenever he has a free second, puts together a video package of every single spread eagle ever converted on the show, <laughs> whether, whether it's on the, uh, in the regular matches or in the bonus ball challenge. For what purpose? Just so they could see oh. all, the, all the spread eagles made. The way they, the way they. I think I think Jarvis is putting together a blooper reel. That would be awesome. Oh, that'd be awesome too. Yeah. I sure a couple times they call it a king of the palace instead of queen of the palace, <laughs> or Steve in the beginning used to call it uh, king of the ladder. Oh God. King of the <laughs> I remember those days. What was it? Forty-nine takes one time. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Come oh on, Tina! Oh, look at this! Oh, wow! Bounces everywhere around. Might still people. go. Hold on. And you would think the ball would get a break. No, it's still wiggling though. That's amazing. Uh, this game. Oh, well, that's why I love it. That's why everybody. Ooh. Oh, nine box put her at 87. So she's at 87, and Jessica's at 92. Five pin lead for Jessica Stockton going into the last two boxes yep. of string. Box number nine, string number one. Lane number three, the foundation box. We want to thank everybody out in YouTube land, Facebook, and local access. Thank you for tuning in and watching King of the Palace. We can't do what we do without you in the bowlers. Love to know where you're watching it from. Please, just put your state. You don't need to put your city. Just put your state so we can keep track and see if we can hit all 50 states by the end of the season. That'd be kind of cool. Or you can put your state city too if you want to, but yeah. just make sure your state's there. Yeah. Or country. Yeah. Yeah. Or province. Or province. And oh. if you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods, Dennis, sign up Steen's mom, let him go. Throw a coin in the fountain and wish. Ooh. Put a lock on the fence. Throw away the key. Contact your local public access provider. Tell them you want King of the Palace or Queen of the Palace in your neck of the woods. Uh, no, sign a piece of paper. Tip. It doesn't cost you anything. And they start, we start streaming it for them, and they air it for you. Again, they decide what time and what day they air it. We do not do that. So uh, if you have any issues with that, you contact them, not us. Okay. I know in Saugus, when I got it in Saugus, they wanted it Saturday at noon, and that's when they air it. And if you know anybody in the media market, the big house, 
Big guns. I like big guns. Big guns. Let us know. Nice ball. Marty Babineau said he got, gets a lot of calls from viewership. Oh, sure. Show. Yeah. Uh, George said the same thing a little while mm -hmm. ago. Very difficult spare shot here, David Dennis. What's going to happen with the wood? You get it. Oh, she nailed it. Yeah, it wasn't right against the wall, so she had a little. Yeah. Bit I think she's looking to finish breaking that pin, whatever it's at. <laughs> okay, big ball here. What's eight, nine, or ten? I'm sure we'll be seeing it eventually. One, two, three, four marks for Jess. Yeah, a couple of disappointing fills, but hopefully she'll yeah. never go in here. Drop like eight, nine, or ten. Uh, on she's it. zeroing in on Drop this Drop a dime one. and make it a one twenty-two. There it is. There it is. Talk about putting the pressure on Tina Wall. Drop a bomb. Excellent. Excellent. Can open bomb to finish out. Also, Tina Tina Ward needs two marks or an open box in the double. Finishes with a 122. Excellent. Can open bowl. I think she heard me. Apparently. Drop a yeah. bomb. We got a 122. Go ball. Make him go boom. Boom, 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 boom. You know what? Lines up, boom. lines up, head pin. Oh! Oh, look seven at this. That should have been a strike, and she leaves a 7 10. ten. Leaves the 7 10, better known as the railroad split. The better most known as diff garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Without wood, the most impossible shot in Candlepin Bowling. Come on, King. Bang the wood, bang the wood, bang the wood, baby. Oh, uh, no, no luck. Who knows? What's going to happen, people? We could a lot of bowling left. And she gets the tender. Not up. She's still down five, facing the spear strike. Okay. Tina Ward. I think I just pulled a nerve on my neck. <laughs> Lane number four. Lane number four, first ball delivery. That's it. No, no, no. Way to, way to no. finish it. No. Yeah. No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Say no. Uh, the, the Dennis. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Tina Ward, very disappointed. And, oh, now, and now she throws chop, another chip, beautiful chop. ball. She's hit five pins. Chop, 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 and chop, by hitting the logic and two. Chop, chop, uh, chop. What a way to finish. Unjustified. Robbery by can open bowling. Oh, a seven box, maybe an eight. Could be an eight. It yeah. is an eight. An eight box since she hit the head pin. Hits so the Roger and gets penalized. What's the score at the one, Dennis? At the one, Jessica Stockton at 122, <sighs> Tina Ward at 105. I know, Tina. I agree with you. You're shaking your head. 17 pin lead for Jessica Stockton going into the last ring. Now, Dennis, you've explained on the show before to people Tina Ward throws a right to left split breaker. Still gets a spread here. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, even with a, a yeah. breaking ball. It, but a breaking, what is this, baseball? No, <laughs> a little bit of a break. A little breaking ball. Then we all agree that no can open ball throws the ball the same way. Agree? That, that's correct. Yes. yes. I now your, chance, your chances of getting a spread eagle thrown to a straight ball are a lot better than with a hook ball. Up on alley three. And now he shuts me. Box one, <laughs> Tina Ward. <laughs> Opens oh. up. Oh, come on, for good. Nine you deserve drop that. Leaves, this, leaves the tail with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. This match will determine who is the next queen of the palace. She's left a 7 10, the spread be, eagle, will and it be almost Jess left Stockton? a 7 10. Come or on, will team, it be on, nice spin, nice Tina way Ward? To start. One for the eight. This match is one for the ages. Been building for a year. She's down by 17, opened up with a spear. That's good. Okay. Old Both versus ladies. young, gun versus gun. Talk about competition, David. Look at both bowlers studying the, the alleys, watching, concentrating. A lot on the line. That's right. It, well, it's the queen of the palace. Dennis. Oh, she's there. She's there. Oh, look at this. She's where? Where'd she, where'd she come from? The head pin. Ooh. And she leaves the 7, 9, 10 with a pocket hit. With a couple of pieces of junk on the deck. Yeah. I don't know where you're going, Dennis. I have no idea. Would, slam it, see what happens. Slam those two pieces yeah. of wood right in the middle. And slam and wood. See what happens. Well, you got to get something to go over to the left to try to get the oh. 10. Well, that's why I said sp yeah. just put them right down the middle. 
right there. Whoa. And she did. Beautiful Great call, shot. Dennis. Great call. Great call. You had to get contact with both of the woods. Yeah, you that did. Was a nice you shot. to send some, something over there and something off the wall. Right? And Excellent Tina, and shot. Tina needed that. Yeah, she was down 17 well, going in. So. Jessica opened up the Squish. championship with Squish, Squish with the double mark. Squish. I got to ask her about that. Squish. And Tina's come back with her Squish. opener. Squish. Okay, she can put a dent in this, this deficit. Well, here's Jessica. First ball. And look at this. Another shot split. What's this? The six. Six eight. Six eight. But she does like cut shots, so let's see how she can handle it. Well, I don't know. I'm tempted to play the wood in the left hand just to see what happens. Oh, it's, well, uh, she likes to split them. Yeah, you get another shape. piece of dead wood behind it, so you, you don't know how that's going to react. Yeah, I, I don't know. Where are you going, Dennis? Quick, David. If I was going to play the wood, I'd go foul left. Yeah, I agree. Because that's going to turn I'd be it. Praying. Come on, Jess. Come on, show us a shot. No? Playing the six. Oh, nice. Six. Nice bid. Now, see, that, well, in my opinion, very tough, tough shot. Just throw yeah, it over it, there. Yeah, it's tough to yeah. get one. Let's see what have happened. Yeah. yeah, okay. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. All right. Ten, 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 ten. Up on alley four. Jess, uh, I want to thank uh, sponsors, North Emma, Super Lindbergh Mass. Visit BuyNorthEnd.com or Visit them in person and see Martin Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in, watch me suck at bowling, and see my good friend George do parodies on Candle Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, video games, uh, soon to be skittling, and that's actually sounds kind of wrong, and 10 Pin Bowling. <laughs> Skittles. Skittling. Oh, you invented a word, David. I didn't invent it. That's what they call a certain type of bowling in England. Well, no, it's called wanna... Skittles, not Skittles. Well, I suppose if you're actually doing it, we go, okay, let's concentrate on this shot here. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Come I on, think come we on. should play. I, I think we should do, uh, you know what, George? Curling. Curling. I like curling. That's a cool sport. You ever done it? I hate it. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's ridiculous. No, oh, I like it. I think it's <laughs> kind of cool. And I, lo I love table shuffleboard, but I hate curling. Huh. I actually enjoy curling. Oh, cool. your own, you know? I hear you, Jeff. You just nailed the head pin. How did one pin come out of those? There's nothing cooler than running down the ice with a broom. If I was to watch that, I'd be somebody. I'd watch it to see someone slip and fall and hurt themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a nice guy, Dennis. It's like you watch NASCAR. You don't watch it for the race. No, you that's it right. Crashes. You, you watch. Am you Amber watch it to see how many people crash, right? Amber showed me a video the other day of uh, a guy walking on his driveway and it was all ice. That was pretty funny. Well, I hope he didn't fall. Was it oh, yeah, he fell. No, it wasn't me. Oh. Come on, Tina. Oh, now she's getting the seven breaks. again. Okay, ninth drop on the spare. I was waiting because that wouldn't had a little bit of momentum yeah. on it, so I was waiting to see. No. <coughs> Excuse me. Got to drop the hook, drop the bend, drop the shoulder. There it is. All oh, over it. Nice shot, Tina Ward. Three, Three in, in a row. row. Got the turkey. Tina found her mark, her uh, range. Three marks in a row, and Candlepin Bowling is a turkey. Could this be the same outcome as it was when Classic Candlepins was around? It's looking so. Oh, well, we'll get a second here. Shout out to a professional scorekeeper, Sarah. Thank you. Okay. And now OEPD for there making us look and sound spectacular. Award, or just missed uh, the head pin, it still drops. Hey, well, you wanted that to stay up. I just got a big break on that one. Went. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you know what? This wood is ugly. Yeah. Yeah. You, you just got a slam. I I don't know. Were you cap one? You'd have cap to try. You'd have to try to shoot shoot a pin because this wood is not going to help. Yeah, I play that back pin like the tip of it, trying to mm. just graze it and try to send kiss it over. It. Yeah. Well, just hopefully give it shoots it over kiss. there. Just a tip. I want to kiss you. Let's see what happens, people. Here it goes. And oh, it's it, it, it. oh. That's an idea. Almost. Almost. It's like math. There's many different ways to come out to the same result. Well, just like in candle pin bowling. Yeah, Dennis. but only but only one right way. Mm. Only one right answer. Mm. Oh, that too. Just and once again, the familiar, fam being familiar with the sport, people, there is 1,023 possible spare combinations in candle pin bowling. Thank and you when, very much. And usually when I'm done with the show, listening to the Steve, there's one pill out of 250 out of my ibuprofen bottle. <laughs> I thought it was two. <laughs> Dennis, how many for you? <laughs> uh, I drink a bottle of vodka when I leave here. <laughs> Jack and Coke. All right, here goes Jess. Wants the head pin. 
don't know if it's a wheel, do, but see what happens. And she's got it. A little thin, but drop it. She's got Not a spin wood. leave. Not bad wood at Not all. Not bad Decent wood. Yep. On the left, yep. the 247. She needs this. Yep. Big shot here, Jess. I don't know. Uh, I'm going as low as I can on the wood, Dennis. Come on, Jess. Come on, Jess. Yep, there it is. Yep. yep, that's what I said. Had to go low. Take up the top two. Oh, okay. Here we go. Main number four. Box number four. String number two. On a mark, wants the eight, nine, or ten, but obviously wants the head pin. The winner of this will become the new queen of the palace. The only one who will be putting it around their waist. Will it be Jessica Stockton or will it be Tina Ward? And, oh, head pin, she found it. Oh. He's a Starlight Five. Wiped out the right side and left the left side. Five fill. Oh, what a bit oh. on that. I know, wow. I hear you. I hear you, Jess. How did the eight pin stay up? This I don't know. This pin right now is huge. How did that happen? Ten okay, pin. what are we at, Dennis? After four, Jessica Stockton at 48, Tina award at 64. Jess, Jessica Stockton is up by one pin going into the last six boxes. Wow. Wow. Very tight match. Well, this is it. Very tight. He's a just, just Stockton. Stockton wears the belt around. Wish you with Dennis. Lynn. Lynn and uh, Tina Ward up in Spencer. Brook Spencer. Yeah, it was up near Brookfield somewhere, right? Both ladies will be so proud. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, make up a spare. It's got to throw this, obviously throw the strike ball and make the spare. See what happens. I mean, obviously, I'm a little biased because Jessica's my cousin, but I, I love this great match. This is awesome. Oh, she made it. What a shot by Tina Ward. Oh, my goodness. Four Austin plus the nine pin. Nice shot, Tina. I guess our comment to Adam Lamarice said he's her cousin. I asked her about it. It's the same side of the family as me, so I guess we are related, too. So, hi, Adam. <laughs> okay, box number six, string number two. Lane number four, filling a mark. The pressure's starting to build. Okay. Right, well, four horsemen, horsemen, right. She just made this four horsemen with the nine pin. Let's see what happens. Gonna the split least favorite shot. Yeah. Gotta split them. See what happens, Tina. Both poles taking a little extra time, Dennis. Oh, no, too off. Okay, get them out of this with a 19. I don't know, she's talking to herself there. Probably swearing at herself. I yeah, well, <laughs> that happens, like you say, sometimes things happen. Sometimes you need to get in your own head mm -hmm. and get yourself out of your own head. Mm -hmm. You gotta talk to oh, yourself, oh, calm yourself oh, down. Oh, didn't want that. Okay, well, forget about it. I, I do a lot of coaching for uh, anybody who, who needs the advice. In coach, in bowling? In bowling. Yeah. And the, the number one thing I tell them after, you know, work on your form, your form's your number one thing. You got, you got to relax. Bowling is 90% mental. If, if you talk yourself out of a shot, you're going to miss a shot. So you just got to need to focus. Well, speak, speaking of that, Dennis, quickly, how do you teach the students to release the ball? I, to roll it off their fingers? Or hold it? Off their fingertips. Off their fingertips, yeah. right. Okay. You advocate a spin? Oh, oh she wrecks boy, a rack. saw that one coming. It's, oh. all, it's all preference. Once they learn a bowling style that's comfortable for them to do, then you worry about everything else. Do you... Would you teach somebody who wants to throw a hook to bend down a little more than upright? I don't throw a hook, but I can do what I can I can try. I can't teach anybody how to throw a hook. Because if I try to teach it, then I'm going to stop well, no. throwing it and right. screw myself yeah. up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just thinking like Phil Clough, I think, throws probably the most it's vicious more. hook ball I've seen. He, he has a more pronounced hook now yeah. than he did from years ago. Yeah. Yes. He puts the ball in the second arrow, and before you know it, it's but on the end. At yeah. his age, he can still get down low yeah. and release that ball. It's that's all, yeah, amazing. that's right. You, the lower you go, the more the hook you're going to get. Okay, well, here no, we go. More accurate. Yeah, accurate. Just working on a strike. Oh, does she want a double? Oh, no. Leaves a Kaleri. That's right, Why half and I? half. All right. Just wants to give a shout-out to her girlfriend, Raina, and, uh, and to her parents. Lost them all. Well, you're going to try to split this, Dennis, or 
I'm a fan of splitting, but everyone, yeah. like I said, everyone has their own preference. Some go on the outside, some go on the inside. Well, if you split, you don't shoot it to the outside. Oh. Almost makes you made it almost made it domino effect. Nine on the uh, nine nice on the strike. Though. Yeah, match the spare six plus three, and she's shooting for a ten, and she ooh, just missed. Who do we got, Dennis? At the six, Jessica Stockton at seventy-six. Tina Ward at eighty-seven. Six pin lead for Jessica going into the last four. We want to give them. a shout out to our sponsors, Lothar Mazda Super, Ludwig Mass, and Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Thank you for your continued support of the TV show and believing in what we do as you are watching the Queen of the Palace, and we have a nail biter going on here. Well, we got six boxes left, people, for the four. Queen of. Four excuse blocks. me, four. Thank you. And the deficit is six. Tina Ward wants to bang the head pin, and oh. Oh, look at this break. Four it just doesn't sound good coming out of your mouth, Steve. <laughs> just saying. Four boxes to go. Jessica's up six. No marks. So here we go. Table set. Let's see what we can do. Well, I'm predicting each bowl is going to get three out of four boxes. And we'll get marks. Let's see what happens. Very optimistic of you. And here's one right now. Oh, beautiful Slide pickup as soon shot. As it came out of her hand. Perfectly thrown ball. Now, another thing I've been noticing more. more. Dennis, are you noticing the same thing that Tina Ward tended to lighten up a little bit on the spare shot? I didn't notice, but it could, yeah. be, could be right. Yeah. Well, you know what? Some people can do that. Yeah. It all depends on if they need a power shot or a more yeah. finesse shot. Okay, well, here we go. Big fill, big fill. Ooh, from my years of watching missed. and bowling in 10 pin, yeah. um, some people use a heavier ball for the strike ball and a lighter ball for the spear yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like you've Anthony always Karen actually uses a different ball when he throws it on the... Really? Oh, yeah, I didn't I know noticed that. that. No. The yeah. one time he did the 80% handicap, 80% uh, championship, I asked him, you use a different ball. Actually, it was in qualifying rounds, and I asked him, he's, because the other ball is heavier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we and mentioned that, that years ago on the show. Huh. I think when I bowled against him or something like that. Huh. Uh, Tina, okay, nothing wrong with that. She came out with a nine, got 23 for two. Put her at 110 for eight. Forces. Jessica. Jessica's gonna have to make a move now. Yeah, she could, uh, she could pretty much put, the, put her at yeah, right she's up. She's up six and she's up against 23 pins, so 17. What's the lead? Six pins box to box. Jess? Yes. Yep. And she's up against the spare four, nine, 23, so see what happens. Spare four, nine, 20. All she has to do is take her time, throw her ball that she can throw, and she'll be fine. Oh, here it is, people. It's getting down there, and she stops. Bang! Oh, drops oh, a goodness. bomb. Yeah, I'm convinced now that... That's yeah. the ball that she needed to throw at that I'm, moment. I'm convinced now she has to be the hardest throwing well, you know, Lady Candlepin ball I've seen. If it does happen to be Jess that beats Tina, is there going to be a rematch? A rubber match. Two out of three. Two out of three, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Who knows? Anything's possible. King Will we Dallas ever see them Dallas? two go at it head to head? Oh, boy, she's really taking her time this time. Oh, she gets a double. Double? Almost. Bid. It may be. Oh. Oh. And one thing I want to mention, too, uh, some people might not be aware of. Every single King of the Palace event, Regular King of the Palace is open up to men and women unless otherwise specified, like it has to be mixed or it has to be woman. Absolutely right. So Absolutely any woman right. can show up at any yeah, time. Sure. It's all yeah. handicapped, so uh, I'm not sure if some of the women knew that or not. There you go. Yep. Boy, does this put the pressure on Tina Ward. Absolutely. After, yeah. after eight, Jessica Stockton at 106, working on the spare. Tina Ward at 110. No. Well, this is it, people. Tina Ward really has to come up with some big first ball bowling here. Obviously needs a double mark. Let's see what happens. Box number nine, the foundation box. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, too bad. Well, got to throw the strike ball to get the spin. Box to box, Tina is down 13 pins, plus whatever Jess throws yeah. on the spin. So she needs a... She needs a, she needs a couple marks. Yeah, minimal. And oh, that's a great bid on one. Almost. Great bid. Almost. So what are we looking at? Is she going to have to throw a, a double? Out? A double minimum. Double minimum. Yeah. To yeah. even bring it close? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Well, right. Put you at 119. Just fucked in spirit. She definitely spirit, needs a strike right Spirit strike really helped her. 
Okay. Well, this is it. The last box for the Queen of the Palace. Dennis, David, let's see what happens. Tina Ward delivers. Kevin Ben. Great Come on. Ball. Oh, okay. Well, she got nine. She gets a spare here and strikes on it. Gives her a 139. See what happens. She's got she's to make this to even have a yeah. semblance of a Oh, choice. yeah. Got a strike on the spare, too. Oh, no. Just made it. Okay, big ball now. She gets a strike. Throws a strike here and, you know, Jess messes up. You never know what happened, but I don't see it happening. Mm -hmm. Jess is up 13 pins plus a fill. Up against 29, yeah. so 16. She'll need 17 pins in two boxes to win if she gets a strike. Right? Well, let me see yeah. what she throws yeah. and then we'll discuss it from there. Okay. <laughs> okay. No problem with that. Good, good buddy. Let's see what happens. Two spill for 131 mm -hmm. for a two string total of 236. Still excellent can open. And Jessica right now is at 228. So Jess all she needs is nine pins with the fill and everything. Uh, as we're finishing up, I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors out there and uh, viewers. Thank you to North End Master Subaru Lindbergh Mass. Also, thank you to George and Watch We Suck At Bowling for believing in what we do and your continued support. We cannot do what we do without you. Also, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and local access. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching The Queen of the Palace. Also, thank you to the OEPD, uh, Travis, and FATV for all of his hard work that he does to make us look good and sound good. Um, also, thank you to Sarah for our guest scorekeeping. Also, that's the match right there. Thank you to Amber for doing everything that she does in writing Epstein's mom's notes. Hi, Amber. <laughs> there's, there's our buddy down there behind the camera, the one and only Travis Fox, the OEPD. We have a new. There's only one. We have a new queen of the palace, palace. and her name is Jess Stockton. Oh, almost made it. And the ironic yeah. thing is, is her best friend was Becca, the former champ. Champ, right? Yeah. So now there could be a little rivalry between Becca, Jess, and Tina. Exactly. Question before we leave. We mentioned the rubber match. Right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Where does that term come from? Oh, we don't have time to discuss that with well, box no to go. But you don't think I know? <clears throat> Me? That's right. You, you can write a letter and send it in. Yeah, tell the people to respond. The grievance. That's a good one for next next month. Have people respond to us. Tell Steve where it comes from. Okay, there you go. Okay, thank you, people. How thanks us to because Steve doesn't have internet access, so he can't. Yeah, that's that. it. That's no, right. He's I still in the stone tablet age. <laughs> I mean, I do still have. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Stockton, the ladies champion, the queen of the palace, gonna wear the belt and walk around this, her hometown of. What is Lynn. it, Lynn? Lynn. Yep. Let her wear it at the bowling alley. Let her wear it at the bowling alley. Let her wear it at Where's her home bowling alley? Where's she go? Exeter. Go Exeter. Exeter. Where's that, New Hampshire? Yes. Well, why all the bowling alleys around us keep closing, so. Why is she up in Exeter? Aren't there any bowling alleys left in Lynn? I just told you. No. No? Oh, I Well, there is. The Lynn one, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, after two, Jessica Stockton with a 127 for a two-string total of 249. Tina Ward with a 131 for a two-string total of 236. Jessica had six spares and three strikes. Tina had eight spares. No strikes at Tina Ward. No strikes at no, Tina Ward. No, no, no. Congratulations to all the women that participated in the Queen of the Palace, and congratulations to the new Queen, Queen of the, of the Palace, Palace, Jess Stockton. Hopefully, uh, maybe someday we'll see a rematch between Jess and Becca, and a rubber match between Jess and Tina. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning into the Queen of the Palace. Now, let's go to the 11th box and meet the new champ. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo standing here with the new Queen of the Palace champion, Jessica Stockton. Uh, I know you're ecstatic right now. What are your thoughts on the match? Uh, Tina, I, I don't think I've ever beat Tina, so <laughs> I'm super, I, I'm kind of speechless right now, but Tina, wonderful match. Um, I look forward to bowling with you in the future against you again. And I'm just, I'm beside myself. I, 
I'm sorry. sorry. Well, they be a grudge match? A grudge match? Yeah, We're gonna be teammates. Match. We're gonna be teammates. Oh. So. A little retribution for losing on a classic candle pins. Yes. Uh, now we're now we're even. Now we're one and one. So we're gonna do it again sometime. We're gonna have the deciding rubber match, yeah. as they call it. Yeah. Eventually. Well, eventually. She wanted to present it to you. So here comes the former queen of the palace, Becca Vesta, to present you with your title belt. That's my best friend. There you go. Thanks. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. You thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I would have loved to see a match you versus her for that title. That would have been great. I would have, I, I was, I would have been happy with that as well. <laughs> Dave, you got any words for our new champ? I just want to say congratulations from from the beginning. Um, you were you were an advocate for putting the show on and asking for the ladies to come out. So for that, I say thank you very much because I know um, it takes a lot of hard work to promote something and to get them to come out. So the Queen of the Palace is because this one around is because of you. You yep. asked for it, we gave it to you. You want to say anything to the women out there about uh, the show? I mean, it's a great opportunity for us. There isn't that much out there for us. So something like this, it's a great opportunity for us. So next time, more women, please. <laughs> a couple of observations. When you are throwing your ball, you throwing the same speed? Are you lighting up? I, we were, um, we were it, debating this. I'm just curious. It depends on how I'm bowling. If I'm off, I'm going to slow down myself a little bit, but mostly it's 100%. Dennis was yeah. right. It's all under yeah, the gap. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all. Because I, I picked up a few times the speed was a little less than your normal yeah. throw and yeah, maybe some concentration. If I'm, right. if I'm overthrowing, I'm going to yeah. slow myself down yeah. and the ball slows down well, as well. Congratulations. So. Thank you, you are so the much. queen of the palace. Thank you so much. Steve made a comment too that I'm curious about uh, the hottest throwing woman bowler. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're in the top. Do you know of any that throw hotter than you? Have you ever been clocked? Uh, no, no. I, I wouldn't say I was a hard who, thrower. Who um, I don't know. We haven't seen. I don't know. I, that's a good question. Good question right? I, I'm, well, I'm, anybody out there, write into us. Let us know. Um, Again, congratulations, new queen of the palace. We look forward to having you back. Thank you very much and see you again.